Hey everyone, Peter Brown here for another GameSpot news update. Earlier today, Walmart announced they're going to start accepting used games for both current and next-gen platforms. According to Walmart merchandising chief Duncan McNaughton, Walmart will start giving in-store credit for trade-ins at 3,100 stores nationwide beginning March 26th. Walmart believes its competitive advantage is that the credit you gain from a trade-in can be used for purchases besides gaming, such as food and clothing. Indeed, GameStop can't compete there, but unlike GameStop, Walmart will not have a cash option for trade-ins. It's either credit or nothing at all. And on top of that, Walmart will only accept games, not hardware. This isn't the first time GameStop's position as the primary used video game dealer has been challenged. Best Buy, Target, and Amazon have all tried to enter the used game market, and none have had much success. GameStop has 10 years experience trading in used games, a massive refurbishment center in Texas, and a power of reward incentive program. Finally, though McNaughton never mentioned GameStop by name during the call, he said Walmart's aim with its second-hand program is to pay more than anybody else for your old games. Of course, trade-in prices will vary, but he said the average price paid per title should be around $35. All right, that does it for today's GameSpot news update. Uh, I've got some games here. It looks like I've got about, well, about a diaper and a rifle's worth. See you guys later.